You wonder what happened in sports today. Brandon Petrilli, he got the wave. We talking a lot with bros today. Cracking some jokes the podcast way. Goals on goals. Where homers on homers. Tutties on tutties. Got moments on moments. Just tune in to BSP. Just tune in to BSP. Just tune in to BSP. Just tune in to Petrilli. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode on the BSP Media channel here. I am your host, Brendan Petrilli. Big day. Big, 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 big day. Yesterday, started NFL free agency. The Eagles got going. It was Howie season. And, man, I'll tell you, I wasn't expecting it. If you were listening the past couple of months here, the past couple of years, you never see Howie Roseman go out and spend this money on guys like like uh, like a Saquon Barkley at the running back position. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens as I'm recording right now at 10 p.m. on the 11th on that Monday. Um, You know, maybe they go out and they get a C.J. Gardner-Johnson, bring him back again. Maybe you get another linebacker on top of uh, Zach Bond that you brought in earlier, more of a special teams kind of guy. But, I mean, what a start to free agency. It's exciting. And let's get into it a little bit here. Kind of some reactions to what people are saying about it. Um, because it was kind of mixed up and down. I was kind of mixed up and down for sure, but this is kind of where I've come down on this, right? You see the Eagles sign Saquon Barkley, a top-notch running back in the National Football League, where that position where I've discredited a lot, if you listen to Cold One Conversations, Harry was talking about how he was thinking the Ravens were going to go get Saquon or or a Derrick Henry type of guy. That's what he wanted to do. And I was just kind of sitting back. I'm like, yeah. You know, I don't really see the Eagles doing anything like that, so I'm not really even going to get my hopes up, right? I'm not even going to think about it, entertain the thought. But, man, man, you see that money? He he got that money, and how he actually did it. Instead of going out and doing the trade for a running back after the draft or bringing a guy for a million dollars for a year, what he's been doing the past couple of years, he went out, he paid it a premium for a guy that honestly – can prove that he is that premium type guy, that absolute game changing type back. Because when you when it comes down to it, right, I don't care. This whole narrative of too much money, too much money, there is no such thing in the NFL anymore. You see the way that teams will either a eat it, eat the money like they did with Russell Wilson out there in Denver, and they'll still be able to compete somehow, right? You see the way the Eagles have been able to move off of contracts over the past years. The the Rams everywhere. It's year after year proven that these GMs can figure out ways to make the money work all of a sudden. And it's gone up this year, which I think has a huge reason to do why Saquon got that money also. But with all of that, Landon Dickerson gets a big time deal. Do you keep him for the next four or five plus years now to anchor that offensive line when Jason Kelsey steps away? You have another leader that guy was a leader at Alabama, one of the top schools in the nation. Bring him in under Kelsey the past couple of years. Slide him into that spot, all pro type of guy. So it'll be interesting to see how Saquon Barkley can run behind him, Mylotta, Jurgens, uh, and Lane Johnson, and then whoever else you get in to fit that right guard spot. It'll be interesting to see if it's Steen, if they draft a guy, or if they sign somebody off the heap. I'm leaning more towards a draft, and it'll be Steen and whoever they draft kind of fight for that spot, but... We'll have to see how it shakes out because how he's making moves, he's filling these holes that he saw this team has been able to, uh, you know, struggled in the past because, man, he's going and getting the best player available. You, I haven't even talked about Huff yet on the other side of the football there, right, where he's still going and getting those value-type guys in a sweat and Huff, and we'll see what happens with Sweat and Reddick on that side of the football. But the be able to go – and balance that need for talent, number one, to add to this offense of 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 Smith and Brown and with Goddard now, right, to go along with Jalen Hurts hopefully coming back fully healthy, which I kind of thought he was a little banged up all last year. But to have that team fully clicking with this O-line still mostly intact moving forward through the next couple years here, it'll be electric. I, if you don't didn't see that move, if you didn't see Saquon Barkley signs with the Eagles and you didn't get you didn't get rocked up, you didn't get perked up and excited, you need hymns. You need a C. Alice. You need one of these things to help you out, brother. Because all I can imagine is just 
dump off passes, Saquon Hurdle and a guy 15 yards down the field. You go, you get A.J. Brown on a quick hitch route. Let him run a dude over. Smitty going toe-tap catch over the middle. Dallas Goddard, a little check down action. You got a new coordinator in there. The link is ready to rock and roll, and Jalen Hurts is the guy to be able to facilitate it moving forward. And now we just got to see. We got to fill these holes on the defensive side of the football now. That's what you got to go and how he's got to go and get done. Because last year they got content of of bringing these younger guys in Blankenship and Nakobe Dean and all these other younger players and let you let a lot of guys walk, right? And now you'll have those compensation picks this draft. You'll have ammunition to go and get it. You have cap room. You've seen the way that they've been able to maneuver you. It'll be interesting to see what happens with Reddick and Sweat. I, I'm kind of leaning towards they move on from Sweat and they keep Reddick at this point because I that's what I would do. Because Hassan Reddick is a natural born game wrecker. He's not a top five guy, but he is as close as the honestly what you're gonna get right now. Um, where Josh Sweat is just kind of he'll put up some numbers, especially when you have a bunch of other guys on that defensive line. But then you look for guys like Jalen Carter, Jordan Davis to take that next leap into it. Everybody's down on Jordan Davis. I'm still I'm still middle of the pack on him. I, I'm not that down. So it'll be interesting how this defensive line plays out. Now you got to go. You go get this linebacker and, and Bond from the Saints, right? You know, got, I got my scout down there and Ryan McCarthy. You know, he's nothing really crazy. Hasn't played a whole lot of snaps, but he's one of those low-risk guys that the Eagles can bring in. Now, he can't be the only guy they bring in. That's when we can start to we start to worry a little bit. But it's a nice signing where back in the day, it was more of those depth players that you always needed where we're not just signing guys off the trash heap, right? in the middle of the season this past year and the Ellis's and the likes like that, right? You're you're kind of building up more players that don't have to be all world, but you can go and once they're given that opportunity to play a little bit, develop, maybe they can make some impact like you've seen with the TJ Edwards and and like Hicks and all these other guys, right? So I kind of see where that move is kind of going. That That's a high level, what I just said last, but it can't be much worse than what it has been the past year and a half now, right? So we'll see where that is. The secondary spot, it'll be interesting if they can move off of um, off of Bradbury, who's just absolutely just got deflated. But maybe with a new system, you'd be able to help him out and reinvigorate that that scheme a little bit where you're not putting him on an island as much moving forward this next season. Maybe, but he's getting older. I didn't really love them giving him that big deal the, first, uh, the season before, right? But... It's kind of what you bet is made, but obviously you can move on from these players as we've seen over and over and over again, just yesterday and today of all these players getting released and, and all of a sudden teams are still able to make moves. Right. So I'm not too worried about that situation. Uh, We got to keep monitoring. It it was looked like Diana Rossini. She was saying the Eagles weren't done right after they signed Saquon Barkley hinting towards McKinney from that giants, that safety coming in here. But he got a huge deal with the Packers. Seemed like the Eagles were putting up a fight for him, but that that was a little steep. That one, you kind of the impact of that position as a whole can be interesting, and what you've seen missing on this defense. But to justify that, where you can see where that position can get lost at times, especially with this defense over the past couple of years. Now it might be different, right, with the new defensive coordinator. But I I rather go and put that money towards a Saquon Barkley, a a pass rusher, guys that have down in and down out impacts on a football game. Now McKinney could have been great. He could have been a, a solid uh, defender for this point. But it feels like the Eagles have that feeling that you know there are these other safeties out there that are similar to that skill set of a McKinney, where the other running backs just aren't close to what Saquon Barkley is. So that's why he's a priority. That's why he gets the big money. And it's only for three years, so it'll be electric to see what he can do moving forward with this team. You would have figured he would have got a four- or five-year deal maybe with the amount of money that that they had to kind of stretch it out. But obviously with the running backs, their legs, it can kind of worry some people how much juice they got. Saquon's been banged up a little bit, but the carries really haven't been all too crazy because of that, right? He's got to stay healthy. He's been behind some terrible offensive lines, some terrible quarterbacks, and it's going to be so much fun to see what he does with this football team next season. 
I, I, I fired up the, I fired up the old Madden behind me, got Saquon in there. It was crazy trying to trade for him in, in like Madden franchise mode. So I just said they, it was like they wanted more than two first round picks and this. And I'm like, this is crazy. So I just went and I just edit the rosters and I'm just like, just give me Saquon for Boston Scott and let's rock and roll, right? That that might end up being what happened. You know, they might go get Boston Scott up there in New York. But it, it, this team is going to be interesting. There's plenty of moves to be had. Uh, and it's funny how you've seen the Giants go and react to losing that guy, to seeing what the offense is around the NFC East, where Eckler goes to the Washington Commanders. Dallas, nothing. Fantastic. Great lose Pollard even at the running back position. It'll be interesting to see what happens there, right? Um, but to see the the – the Giants go and make a move for a big time pass rusher and Brian Burns, who's up there. I would say Reddick and him are kind of hand in hand at that where that that next tier of edge rushers. Really good player. Only gave up a second round, early second round pick though. It was like pick number thirty six. So it's that late t- trending towards that late first round almost type of value. Uh, if you look at the charts and everything like that, trade charts. But then they had to give him the big money, too, on top of it. So that was the biggest thing. And now, what, you got $150 million in your quarterback and an edge rusher? You can't bring anybody in to score points, right? Hey, their defensive line is going to be really good, but you lose your safety. That was the anchor of that secondary. You lose a couple other people on that defense. You lose a top five weapon in the National Football League. How are you going to score points yeah, you're gonna defense might only give up ten plus points a game or ten less points a game, but are they gonna be able to score it? I don't think so, and that's a terrible way for an offense to go moving forward, especially with a quarterback coming off an ACL tear, right? And Danny Jones or the Achilles, I forget which one he had, but yeah, it, it'll be fun. I'm excited. It, it's funny how all my Giants fans buddies they really haven't said a peep. They haven't said anything actually. So I would love to have them on and have a discussion about it. I've seen um, talking about peep, you know, people peeing on Saquon Barkley jerseys, uh, you know, ex ex players saying that they're dead to him, this and that. The guy went to an opportunity where he wanted to be where he was wanted. You guys didn't want him. If you wanted him, they would have given him the money years ago. But you messed around. You found out. And he's going to be putting up touchdowns every single week for this Philadelphia Eagles team being it doing it twice against you guys it's going to be electric could it bite us in the ass 100% it can but right now we're looking good I'm feeling good make sure you hit that subscribe button because it's going to be an electric off season we'll try to keep you updated as we move through forward through this off season go check out cold one conversations also on YouTube and wherever you get your podcast we'll be doing it with Harry Heaps later in the week a little bit more of an NFL wide coverage of free agency if you want more of that also, but it's good. Put some vlogs out. Phillies are right around the corner here. Sixers getting Maxi back. We'll see what happens with Embiid. But thanks for tuning in, guys. Shout out to and five. Go birds, baby. We can say it with our chest a little bit again. It hurt at the end of the year. We can say it a little bit better now. A little bit more, a little more umph behind it. Let's go, baby. Go birds. Just tune into BSP. Just tune into BSP. Just tune into Petrelli.